Hi there, I am back with another tutorial, this time I will be showing you how I create beard and mustache for my characters. I will be showing you the hair grooming and materials in this video, to learn basics you have to go to this video first. So without wasting any second, let's get started. Today's video is sponsored by Wingfox. A cool video course of Blender available on Wingfox for you guys. This course will teach you to make a stylized painting in Photoshop and project that on 3D models using Blender. This course will teach you basic 3D modeling, 3D projection, lighting, rendering and do a 3D camera animation to bring the scene to life. This course is available only on Wingfox, so make sure you sign up now. For creation of his beard and mustache, first we have to create some vertex groups. I will create three vertex groups for this, one for his mustache, second for with mid beard and the third for the sides. So let's make our first vertex group. I am making for the mustache. Then go to the weight paint mode and start painting your vertices. Enable X for symmetry in X axis. You can see references if you want to. Now I am making another one for the mid beard. Now same, paint the vertices of it. I am not sure if it is okay or not, but I will repaint it later if I need to. So this is for the mid part. Now let's make the vertex group for the sides. Same, paint the vertex group. Now all the vertex group for the beard and mustache is done, let's move to the particle system to create the hair. Create a particle system called mustache. Set it to hair. Give 500 particles, and set the length to 0.1. Assign the vertex group. Now, go to the particle edit mode and enable this option, it will show the resolution of the particle. Now start the grooming. I think the particles are too long, so I selected this brush, and set it to shrink. Now start shrinking the particles, you can regrow it back with grow selection. Now just style the hair. Please see references while doing this. you can delete those particles which you don't need. To see more particles, set the children to interpolated. To enable the children particles. I am not able to see the hair clearly, so I quickly set up a material for the hair. Go to the materials tab and add a material. I am giving it a dark gray color, just for visual purpose. Now assign your material to the particle tab. Also give the color to the viewport display in the materials tab. Now I see the mustache. I am setting up some hair shape settings to see the particles in render mode. Don't worry I will show the final settings later. I always never satisfied with the first attempt. Let's readjust the groom.
I am testing things out, looking which values will go best. Hair looks so plasticky right now, so I am adding a principal hair node. And also don't forget to give some step size in view port and render. And check the B spline for better curves. Let's adjust the roughness settings. Random to 0.05, size to 1.2 and threshold to 0.7. I think the mustache is very close to the skin, that's why it's looking like it sticks on the skin. Let's adjust it in particle edit mode. I am regrowing the length of these particles, as because I am looking for a long mustache and beard look. That's little better. Keep checking your result in render mode. Here I checked children, to see all the particles in the particle edit mode. Select some particles, and adjust it a little, to break the uniformity. This material is still for visual purpose. Mustache is done for now, here's my particle settings if you want to know. Let's move to our first beard part. Giving 1000 of amount, length of 0.15, give some step size in view port and render, and enable the B spline option. And don't forget to assign the vertex group and material to the particle system. Now let's jump to the grooming part. First I am adjusting the length of these particles with the length brush. I am quickly given the interpolated children to it. Adjust the clump settings.
I keep adjusting the groom and different particle settings. Now I am setting up the roughness settings. Always check in rendered mode and refine the groom for the best. I always keep refining the result until I am satisfied. Don't afraid to jump on another parts in adjusting it. I am adding some particles here because I think this place has less number of hair. To add the particles, select the add brush and set the count number to 1 and add the particles with left click. I am readjusting the hair material again. Add a noise texture node. Place a color amp node in between and put black and white close to contrast it. Set some big noise scale value. And you can see some hair starting to get white color which I wanted. With this method you can adjust colors to the hair. I am doing this because I want some few hair to be white, as I am looking for a mid-age man type look. This is the final hair material. You can see some hair strands are appearing white. Again I am refining the beard. Adding some extra particles where I think needed. You can also readjust the weight paint after grooming and settings. Like here, I am painting this area more, with weight value of 1. Let's move on to the final part which is for the sides. Same thing, adding the particle system, setting the amount and length values, Give the step values in view port and render, enable the B spline and assign the vertex group. And yes also don't forget to assign the material as well. When everything is set, jump to the grooming part. Keep adjusting different settings to see the look which you want. After grooming give roughness values. This is the particle settings for the side beard. I am making the whole beard a little longer. Because as I said, I want a longer beard look on him. 
So this is it for now, if you find this useful, please hit a like, share the video and subscribe the channel for more.